entrance to the museum. These are the prices for the place. Oh, so, one, four, three. So, Brian would have it on three. Now I had it on one. It's one. So, this is the schoolhouse. All these tusks are, especially for little children right here. Is that where the bad children sit? Yeah. The bad children sit by the teacher, I guess. So I guess since I'm old, I would be sitting here in the back. Because I'm bigger. Oh. 1852. Yeah. There's the naughty corner over there. It's the naughty corner. Too bad. Some books that they had. These are the fire trucks. So here is a church. Yeah. Outhouse corn. Why is there corn in the outhouse? Because something with the toilet. Sure. Um, go in the little piece of paper right there. They have to pee in this hole. Gross. Why is there a broom in here? How she gets up there.
but she's up there. And she just jumps down like everything's okay. Come on, you needy chicken. Look at her. Yes, you are on camera. Do you have stage fright? My goodness. You have stage fright? Because you're on YouTube. You're on YouTube, you chicken. Going on YouTube. Balk. Can you balk for me? Thank you. There we go. This is the elder street, huh? Well, I was getting the view of the front porch. There's a rocking chair out here and everything. And a swing chair and a bench. And that's it. Here we go. Creepy dolls upstairs room. Hey, you go check out the creepy dolls. They move every time, I'm telling you. Where is it this time? Before our video got interrupted, there's no doll over here. There's the doll. Mm -hmm. And that doll in the bed is also very creepy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at the other doll. Yeah. Creepy. It is. Creepy doll. Mm hmm. Probably just a toy box, but. This is probably the parents' room because they have a baby crib. This is the dining room, right here. Yeah. yeah. One of the dining room. Yeah, this is the dining room. It looks like it's tea time. Mm-hmm. The kitchen, right? Yeah. So and this is the living room. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, this was like in the 1800s, so. All right, so now we're going to the kitchen. So, yeah. And here's the other table that they have in their kitchen. The reason why the kitchen is separate from their house is in case a fire would break out into the kitchen, it's separated from the house, so. That is why the kitchen is separated. If you want to do the puzzle of the kitchen, you can always pause this video for more time. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now we're going to the general store. I wonder if pounds were like this back in the day where you could just walk to things. Oh yeah, so you see this, you could scan it with your phone and then get history about the stuff. So, which is nice. And then, yeah, that's nice too. Look how old this candy looks. It's probably very, very old. This is how much things cost. Oh, it was only 25 cents for beef stew, a native rib, three pounds for 25 cents. Tomatoes, two cans, was 15 cents. Oh look, there's some pickles and some jelly beans. I'm going to play some checkers. Sausage stuffer? Hmm. That's interesting. It's an old fashioned cash register. That's cool. Look, you could see trains here that pass by occasionally. Okay, so this is the moonshine still. So. 
This is where they had moonshine. We'll come down here and I'll show you. It's in this building right here. Okay, so we this is a train station. Uh, Trilby Depot, 1896. So when I come in, I'll let William film. So High Springs, 7 a.m. Wildwood, <laughs> Wildwood, 8:15 a.m. Trilby, 8:45 a.m. Date City, 9 a.m. Uh, something Abbott Station, 9:20 and Plant City, 9:45 a.m. Wow, that's crazy. We have like the Morse code, I think, over here. More checkers in this building. And then the thing that my mom gets creeped out about, I got some, oh, that's cool. Doctor hats. This part's cool too. So in this building, it's closed off, but this is like a whole room full of like model trains. I'm gonna film so you can go inside the inside of the train, you see? And the cool cart even. This is how you get in. There's some steps right here, you see? Hold on to the handrails. You can ding the bell. Tell me, tell me you're dinging the bell. Hi. Just pull, if you're tall enough, pull that line right there. But if you're not tall enough, there's a rope here, you see? There's Grandma over there. And this is the cool cart. You can actually go back here. And then there's the logs it's carrying. It's carrying three. And you can add. And this uh, is sometimes open, that, and you can see the inside, right? Mm -hmm. For some reason, you have it. Yeah. I don't know why there's a big number three there. Klaus used to look like just a big old board. I'm glad that he invented the new snow plow. So you can actually go up here. I'm not joking, you can. Just not on the middle part. Are you Okay, there you go. Okay, so this is the dentist section. That looks scary to have in your mouth. Mm -hmm. This thing. So does this. It's a hammer, dude. So does this, my goodness. In fact, everything here looks uncomfortable to have in your mouth. And this. I don't think this is actually going in your mouth. I think that those are just pills. Those. One of her pupils are going that way. One of her pupils are going that way. So this is the doctor's side. Mm-hmm. Tongue depressor. What are these for? Uh, I have to look that up. 
Okay. We got interrupted, but. Cotton balls. Yep. They're like some medicines and stuff. Or tools right there. Those are x-ray of teeth. That's a wheelchair back in the day. Okay. The table you sat on or laid on. I'm guessing this has more like medicine stuff. That's probably the office. It's all happening in one room. So that's it for the Pioneer. That's it for part one of the Pioneer Museum. Stay around for part two. And don't forget to shoot for your dreams. Mm-hmm. Bye. And puddle jumpers. <laughs>